Okay guys, I am back and I've got my two pieces of cowl here for my going home sweater. Um, I've got, I've already put together the sleeves, the sleeve cuffs, the, van, the band, and now I just have to do the cowl. And what I did already is I quarter my neck band, so I made up the two um, sleeves and I found the uh, middle piece and then I made up the two fronts and I found uh, the sleeve quarters, which this one came off. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one back on. And now I'm going to um, set up my cowl. Okay, so here's my two pieces and I'm going to put them right sides together. So here's my one side. And then here comes my other side. And I'm putting them right sides together. Putting the pointy parts on the outside because that's going to be your out, your seam on this side. So I'm going to meet them up and I'm going to sew up that side. So I'm going to pin it right here on the outside where the pointy parts are. <laughs> that's your um, sides. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And pin. And so that we can put that together as a continuous circle. This fabric is very stretchy and so I have to be careful with it. And I have to be careful that my nails are not super sharp or prickly because then my it will get caught on it. As I said that, I hope my braces don't get caught on it. <laughs> then I'll have a run in my sweater. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and search those two raw edges. Making sure that my fabric is all in there. So I don't have end up with a hole. do the same for the other side Now that it's two, I'm gonna go ahead and let me go ahead and give it a little bit of a steam on that. Especially with this kind of material that is really um, wonky. But most of the times a good steam takes all the wonkiness away. So now I'm gonna fold it right sides together. And I'm gonna meet those two edges if I find them. Here it is right sides together. Here's my one. And here's my other. And I'm going to go ahead and quarter it as well. So I'm going to meet those two together and I'm going to go out to one side. Make sure they're all lining up. And then I'm going to go out to the other side after I pin it. I'll go out to the other side and I pin it on the other side as well. Woo. Okay, now I'm going to grab my sweater and I'm going to fit this in here. And the side seams, I'm going to make them attach to my sleeves my sleeve side seam, my quarter points. So I have, here's my front. I'm gonna meet that to the front. 
my quarter points and I'm facing them right sides together. I tuck the shirt into my cowl. Now I'm going to meet the side seam. Now I'm going to meet the back. And now my other side. No! My pin fell off again. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it again. So here, I'm going to put the two sides together. And then I'm going to go out to the side. And here it is. So I got it right here. And I'm going to put it right here on my cowl. Usually I notch with certain fabrics. So that when that happens, I still have a little notch. But... Because this is sweater knit and it's got already bumpy edges, I didn't think it was going to show up really well. This right here is when um, clips come in handy because it keeps they keep sliding off. My pins keep sliding off. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pin sideways on some spots again so that way they don't slide off. If you're having the same issue I am, pin different ways so that way they won't slide off. Okay, so now, but that means you're taking two pins off when you're surging, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to start where the front, where the back is. And I'm going to surge those three pieces of fabric together. So I'm surging the hood onto the shirt collar. And there you go. Making sure all of the fabrics are in are cut underneath it. So you're not just surging it and then you have a hole. So you want to make sure that all the fabrics are in. there that was so easy I've looked at the cowl before on this top and I thought oh I don't know if I can do that because it looks kind of like hard and confusing I mean just sometimes we go by look and we look at it and we're like oh that looks difficult but it really is not difficult at all Plus, Ellie and Mac instructions are so easy. Okay, here we are. I am finished with my cowl. So here's my sweater with my cowl. Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, you had fun sewing this one together. Please let me know below if you have any questions or um anything that you want me to uh, make next time and I hope that you make this with us and show us your picture on our Facebook and our Instagram because we'd love to see it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers and we're gonna do a giveaway once we do share it with your friends and go watch our other um, tutorials and we'd love to see you next time bye